My name is Gail Arquez. I'm a French mezzo-soprano. I have Spanish roots on my dad's side and my mom is from Madagascar. I grew up in Africa. I arrived in France, I was nine years old. First, I started studying music by playing piano when I was seven in Africa. And then when uh, we went back to France, I kept studying at the Conservatoire. When I was 15, I was in love with Maria Carey. Whitney Houston and we had one uh, show at the end of the year at the Conservatoire and I had a role to sing for the first time and in the audience apart from the parents and all the teachers the singing teachers was there and she came to me after the performance and she said have you heard about opera and do you know that maybe you can start studying it and at 15 I was not really into opera to me it was like a big women screaming on stage and nothing cool to me. Um, but my mom, she encouraged me, she supported me and she said, why not? You know how to read music, we don't need any instrument, so why not? And as soon as I started it, I fell in love with opera. A first recording is something special especially nowadays, it's, um, it's a way to introduce yourself to the world, to people that maybe uh, won't go to see you on stage in an opera or in a, a theatre. It arrives at a step of my career which is, uh, I think, important right now, that I uh, have this support to introduce myself. This project for me is uh, really important and I feel excited but also honoured to have the privilege to do my first recording with Deutsch Grammophon. The program of the recording was something I started thinking months in advance. It came to me quite spontaneously that I wanted to do something in French, as it's my mother tongue. So the common point between all the characters in this program is probably the, the passion that they have inside this strong tempered they have also. These are strong women and what I really liked is the contrast with their emotions, especially the weakness that they can express about the love they feel for someone that they don't have the right to love or they are not allowed to love. Um, so it's this human side that I, I like because you can see that suddenly this myth, this um, character with big aura can become superhuman suddenly. So I really like this contrast. And then we decided about the title, which is something important. And I decided to take a quote from one of the aria, uh, which is from La Donation de Faust by Berlioz. So ardent flamme, meaning ardent flame, is about a fire which burns inside the character not outside. This is strong women, of course, strong characters, but the common point is this uh, passion which are burning them from the inside. I wanted to present something from the French tradition and this is a range for high mezzo which I am, <laughs> and the program of the recording for me came quite obviously to be in French, as it's my mother tongue, and I wanted to have, a, um, how to say, a panel of different times, and we decided to start with classicism, post-baroque, with Gluck, and then with the conductor, Paul Daniel, we discussed how to build the program. We added some special areas that are not really known yet, but, uh, which are really worth it, I, I feel. Um, they are really special and really intense. As a French mezzo-soprano with Spanish roots, I think maybe um, Carmen came to me quite easily, let's say. I'm really happy because right now I'm going to make my debut with, with Carmen in Madrid and also at the Covent Garden in London. So I think that was quite logical that Carmen is part of the recording. 
So Carmen, for me, was important to be part of the recording also because I feel that she is shining and burning from the outside because obviously she is so beautiful that she can attract every man around her. But her destiny is, uh, is tragic. With this title of this recording, I, I felt that, yes, that was for me obvious that I needed to place Carmen in this program. No, 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 no.